Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I'll be discussing what I thought of the big announcement that dropped uh, earlier today, just a few hours ago. Uh, now that this rumor is officially confirmed as uh, truth, uh, we can now officially say that actor Jeffrey Wright uh, will now be playing the role of Commissioner Jim Gordon in the upcoming superhero film, the Batman. Well, at least that's what they're calling it until we get an official title, although that might be our official title. Uh, as you all well know, this is the Batman film starring uh, Robert Pattinson, who took over the role from Ben Affleck, who played the character on three separate occasions throughout the DC Cinematic Universe. What is very unclear as to whether or not um, Robert Pattinson's Batman is a soft reboot of the character or if he is a younger version of Batfleck. Considering Ben Affleck is uh, officially done with the role and will most likely not be returning for any future Batman or Justice League films if they make any at all, it's uh, pretty. I think it's safe to assume that Robert Pattinson will be our new Batman moving forward. Uh, you know, there's rumor of a, this is the beginning of a trilogy of Batman films and another juicy rumor rumors that he's expected to star in the soft reboot of uh, slash sequel of Justice League but way further down the line which means he could arguably be standing shoulder to shoulder with like Jason Momoa's Aquaman and Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman but until we hear something official all we can do is speculate and spread rumors but uh we're not spreading rumors in this video we're just talking about that jeffrey wright will now be playing commissioner jim gordon this is kind of bittersweet for me i mean jeffrey wright's a great actor i've seen him in a lot of movies I really enjoyed him as Felix Leiter in the recent Bond franchise alongside Daniel Craig's 007. You know, and I saw him in the movie Game Night. He was great in that. He's just done a lot over the years. And I think he's played cops before or detectives, so he could definitely pull off being Commissioner Gordon. But what's bittersweet about it is that I really enjoyed uh, J.K. Simmons' performance as Commissioner Gordon in Justice League. I was really hoping he re would return for this movie or a possible other their Batman films in the future or maybe more Justice League movies if possible but unfortunately it doesn't look like that is going to be the case however I should point out that it has not been officially 100% clarified or confirmed by anybody Matt Reeves Robert Pattinson anybody that this film is a part of the DC Cinematic Universe this could be part of of once again another separate universe that's using a DC character Batman and creating a universe around him not connecting to the other DC films or the standalone Joker movie that just came out this is just a rumor and a possibility again nothing has been verified or confirmed I've read multiple conflicting reports about this online I don't know if this movie is going to tie in or relate to any of the other previous DC films Matt Reeves himself said this will be a standalone story without any cameos or references to previous DCEU films, but whether or not it takes place within the DCEU remains to be seen. Now, it's entirely possible that it does, and that this could be a soft reboot of the Batman character and characters around him, like Gordon and uh, most likely Pennyworth, which means we'll have to say goodbye to Jeremy Irons, who I thought did a great job playing him in the movies that he appeared in as him. But uh, we might get new actors, new faces playing this, uh, the same characters that we've already seen in uh, other films, and uh, they just uh, might ignore or not address the fact that they look physically and completely completely different the next time we see them in any ensemble piece if we see another ensemble piece at all in the future so it's just you know until we learn something official it just uh, we just don't know but what we do know is that he is playing commissioner gordon at least in this movie in this Batman movie. Whether or not this movie is going to be a standalone story set in a separate universe or if it will connect to the DCEU remains to be seen. I'm still personally excited for it. As you guys know, I'm a huge excuse me, a huge Batman fan, and I'm really excited with the casting announcements they've made so far. I was a little uh, on the ed fence at first about Pattinson, but when I thought about it, I could see him pulling off a Bruce Wayne slash Bat excuse me, Batman. 
And now they've confirmed two of like supposedly six rogue villains that will be appearing, Riddler and Catwoman. And now we have a Commissioner Gordon. Hopefully we'll be getting news on who's playing other villains and what other villains will be appearing in this movie. And if whether or not Jerry, Jeremy Irons will return as Alfred. But in the meantime, uh, welcome, to, uh, welcome to the world of uh, DC, Jeffrey Wright. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what you bring to the role. And as I hope the rest of you are, are just as excited as I am. What are your thoughts on this casting? Are you excited? Are you concerned? Are you confused? Are you curious? I want to hear your thoughts, opinions, and your feedback down below in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your night. The Batman is slated to be released June 25th, 2021. I believe filming is supposed to begin sometime early next year. Stay tuned and subscribe to this channel for more official news updates and confirmations like this one. Have an awesome rest of your night, and of course, until next time, may the Force be with you.